Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at grade 11 quadratic number patterns. And the past exam question that we're going to be looking at appeared in the November 2019 paper one. Now this question is a little bit long. So this video may be a little bit long, so just hang in there till the end. So let's have a look at it. It says the following number pattern is a given by 13, 27, 45 and 67. Now they're asking us here, is this a quadratic number pattern? Justify your answer with relevant calculations. Now, the properties of a quadratic number pattern is that the second difference is constant. Constant means the same. So let's go and work that out. 4.1.1, let's write that down. 4.1.1, so let's write our sequence out, which is 13, 27, 45. So that's 13, 27, 45, and 67. So that's now 67. Now this is TN, which is a term. So that means this is position 1, 2, 3, and 4. There's four terms given here. So the first difference would be as follows. 27 minus 13. So let's just quickly say 27 minus 13 equals 2. So that's 14. And 45 minus 27. 45 minus 27 equals to 18. And 67 minus 45. So that will be 67 minus 45 equals to 22. So 22. Now remember that when we're working out the differences, it'll be T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2, T4 minus T3, and so on. Similarly, with the second difference, 14 or 18 minus 14 is 4, and 22 minus 18 is 4. Therefore, this is a, we can confirm that this is a quadratic sequence because we have a constant second difference. Constant second difference. Okay, so that's our solution to the first question. Now they're telling us here, determine the general term Tn of the quadratic number pattern. Now, to find the general term of a quadratic number pattern, we're going to fo follow the steps which I'm going to show you. So, 4.12. Remember now that the important thing is that you set out your sequence as follows because these are the important values that we require now. We need the second difference, which is going to be 4, and t2 minus t1, or the first term of the first difference. And we also need term number 1 in order to work out the general term of a quadratic sequence. So we're going to have the following now. So the step number one is going to be 2a equals to the second difference. Therefore, 2a will equal to our second difference is equal to 4. Therefore, a is going to equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's step number one. Step number two is 3a plus b is equal to t2 minus t1. Now t2 minus t1, or you can say the first term of the first difference, which is t2 minus t1, is it, yeah? Is 27 minus 13 is 14, right? Or the first term of the first difference. So therefore, 3a, let's substitute 3 times 2 plus b equals 2 and that is t2 minus t1 is 14 so we're going to write here 14 therefore we'll have 6 plus b equals to 14 b equals to 14 minus 6 we're going to take 6 over to the right hand side and 14 minus 6 will give us 8 so we've now solved for a we've solved for b now we need to solve for C. So step number three is we're going to say A plus B plus C is equal to T1, which is our first term. 
So let's write that down. We can say A plus B plus C is equal to term number one. Therefore, what's our value for A? There's a check two plus eight. So we're gonna say two plus eight plus C equals to the first term. And the first term is 13. So that's gonna be equals to 13. Now let's solve for C. So we've got 10 plus C equals to 13. Therefore, C will be 13 minus 10. 13 minus 10, we're gonna take the 10 over to the right hand side. 13 minus 10 is equal to me. Now remember that the general term of a quadratic sequence is as follows a n squared plus b n plus c so all we're going to do guys is just substitute a b and c so a b and c is going to be as follows so we've got a so where we got a we're going to put in the value 2 so it's going to be 2 n squared so the general term therefore now will be t n equals to 2 n squared and the value of b is 8 so it'll be plus 8 n and C is 3, so that'll be plus 3. The last and final step here now is to test the sequence and see whether it works. So let's check whether we get our first term. So we got 2 times 1. Remember, n equals to 1 means t1 is the first term, right? So 2 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 plus 3 equals to 13. Let's go check if that's our first term. 13. Okay, so our first term is 13. Let's go check the second term out. Right, we only need to check the first two and then we are done, right? If you want to check the first three, that's fine. So, 2, 27 and T2 is equal to 27. So, I know now that my general term is correct. It's very important that you do the check because remember that the next few questions that you'll be given will rely on this general term so it's very important to check that you got it correct 4.1.3 calculate the value of t100 so t100 is the hundredth term okay so basically they're telling you n equals to 100 so that's the position of the term the hundredth term they want the value of it all right so all we have to do is substitute 100 for n in our general term let's go answer that question so 4.1.3 it's going to be as follows so 4.1.3 so we're going to say t 100 equals to 2 times 100 squared plus 8 times 100 plus 3 equals 2 so let's go substitute 100 wherever we got n in our formula see how important this make sure that you check your sequence out so what we got 20,803 20,803 so it's the 20th 1803rd term okay or rather the 100th term is equal to 20,803 correction there all right so the value of the 100th term is 20,803 let's look at 4.1.4 it says here that the first difference between two consecutive terms of the quadratic number pattern is 110 determine the value of these two terms that is it's very important for us to know the following that the first difference of a quadratic number pattern is linear so they're telling us that the first difference between two consecutive terms of the quadratic number pattern is 110 determine the value of these two terms so let's go back to our sequence now if you look at here see the first difference between term 1 and term 2 is 14 the first difference between uh, term 2 and term 3 is 18 and the difference between term 3 and term 4 is 20 2. If you look very carefully at the first difference of our quadratic sequence, it is a linear sequence 14, 18, 22. Basically, if you look at it, it's increasing by 4. Okay, 
So what we need to do now is the following. We're going to use the formula for a linear number pattern. So that's going to be Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 times D. That's the formula. So let's use that formula. 4.1.4 is going to be answered as follows. So 4.1.4, we're going to use that. Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 times D, right? And what are they telling us here? They're telling us that the first difference between two consecutive terms of the quadratic number pattern is 110. Let's have the value of these two terms. All right, so let's have a look at that. So it's now going to be as follows. So therefore, we're going to say 110 yeah, equals 2. We've got A, which is our first term. So we're looking at this linear sequence now. Right, so that's going to be... So the first term here will be 14. So we're going to take 14 and our difference will be 4. Right, so don't forget now. A will be 14 and the difference will be 4. Because now that's a linear number pattern. We're only considering that uh, sequence there. So we got 14 plus 4 into n minus 1 or n minus 1 times 4. 110 equals to 14 plus 4n minus 4. Now, let's say 4n. 14 minus 4 is going to equal to 10. And if we take 10 over to the left hand side, it'll be minus 10. 110 minus 10 is 100. Divide both sides by 4. We divide both sides by 4. We we'll get n equals to 25. So therefore, it'll be between the between the 25th and the 26th term, between the 25th and the 26th term. So let's go read the question. What do they want? They want us to, they said, determine the value of these two terms. So that means what we have to do now is find T25 and T26. So therefore, T25 is going to equal 2. So we go back to our formula now, which is 2n squared plus 8n plus 3. So we're going to substitute. So that'll be 2 times 25 squared plus 8 times 25 plus 8 times 25 and plus 3. Plus 3. Okay. And let's go and put that in our calculator. So now we've got 25 here. 25. So we're finding the 25th term here, right? 25. Let's see what we've got here. 1,453. 1,453. And let's find T26 at the same time. 2 times 26 squared plus 8 times 26 plus 3 and let's go to 26 now in our calculator 26 there and here 26 and you can see 1563 1563 now let's do this quickly 1563 minus 1400 and 53 and what do you notice you've got 110 so that answers that question. That is, we will come back and finish the rest of this question in part two of this video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to JL Maths. You can like my Facebook page, Justin Lazarus Mathematics. Watch all videos in order of the work schedule on jlmaths.com. And I'll catch you in the next video.